Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Shifkumar and in today's video, I am going to introduce you to the Matter protocol using the NRF7002 DK from Nordic Semi. So what exactly is the Matter protocol? So if I do a simple Google search right now on what is Matter, it says Matter is a unifying IP-based connectivity protocol built on proven technologies, helping you connect to and build reliable, secure IoT ecosystems and keeping you focused on developing innovative products and accelerating paths for market. So what is all of this mumbo jumbo? From my understanding, Matter basically seamlessly unifies different devices for example this could be running on wi-fi you could have another device running on thread or zigbee or ethernet or some other pro wireless technology and you want a unified system that can communicate with all of these devices irrespective of their underlining technologies in which they operate and matter is able to abstract a lot of those details and just focus on using a unified messaging system so that it can communicate it irrespective of what the technology or the wireless system or the connectivity system of these devices, edge devices is all about. So that's really it. Now, even if that's a little bit of too much of a handful, uh, let's try to you know demonstrate what exactly all that means. To get started, we need to install something called as a chip tool. So what exactly is a chip tool? So another Google search tells us, the chip tool is a matter controller implementation that allows to commission a matter device into the network and to communicate with it using matter messages, which may encode data model actions such as cluster commands. As I mentioned, matter basically unifies all of these different devices so that you can have a seamless communication. What is that tool that's basically helping you communicate with this device is called basically the chip tool. And the chip tool allows us to basically toggle an LED or and that LED might you know, be a garage door opener or it might be whatever that mechanism is. It doesn't matter whether it's Wi-Fi, whether it's Zigbee, whether it's Thread or whatever wireless protocol, I can use that same messaging system and it would automatically work on these devices. That's the whole idea of using chip tools because it's taking these very simple commands and streamlining it and formatting the data and the messages in a way that anything that's got matter install on it will automatically be able to understand and work <clears throat> so even if that's too much of an handful let's basically get started into installing the chip tool and downloading a simple application such as an led bulb given by nordic in one of the examples to get started with the matter protocol now before we get into installing all the different components that are required in order for us to get the matter working onto our edge device let me briefly explain my current setup so that we have a high level overview of what I'm really trying to get. What I have here is a much more complex matter network topology where I have an access point, the Wi-Fi access point, which is also connected to the internet. I have a Linux PC, which is what I'll be installing the chip tool in. I have a 7002DK, which will be programmed using the Nordic Semi light bulb example. And this part is what I'll be demonstrating right now. Now you could also connect another Linux PC, which has a thread border router using the NRF52 dongle. And then you can have something like using the 5340 development kit, and this could all be communicating using the thread. And, but this is not where we'll be focusing on this particular video. As I start to show you some of what we can do right now, we can build on some of the complexities of making this network even more complex in a future video. Now let's get started into downloading the right applications into the Linux machine. Now in order for us to install the chip and matter protocols into the NRF70002 DK, we need to basically download the right chip tool version and the actual NRF SDK version so that they're compatible. So let's get started. So when you go into the GitHub NRF Connect SDK home IP release version, you will notice that Nordic Semiconductor has basically given us a couple of chip tools that you can download. Now you can compile from source or you can basically use their binary versions. Now, not always do they provide the binary version. Sometimes they just provide the source code. So you need to compile it. And that's a little bit more involved, the steps required to compile. What we're gonna do is use the 2.5.0. As of this recording, the latest is 2.5.1. I'm gonna use 2.5.0. And I'm gonna use the one that's basically compiled already. So these are the source code. And here is the compiled version. So for example, if I download the x86 Linux tool, you'll notice that there'll be two versions of it. One will be the debug version and one will be the release version. 
And debug just allows us to basically see more messages as far as I'm concerned, but there's not much of a difference. What's important is that when you are downloading the version, you need to make sure if you're using 2.5.4, you need to make sure that you are using the Nordic SDK 2.5.0 and use the examples from this version because if there's a mismatch in the version, there's good chances that it may not work as smoothly as you would want it. And I've actually made a lot of mistakes by just having version mismatch where I will send a command and the bulb would not be working or it's not working as consistently as I would like. And just by making sure the versions are consistent, you basically be able to solve majority of the problems of matter communication. So let's get started. So I've downloaded the NRF 2.5.2 Connect SDK, and I've also downloaded the chip tools. All right. <clears throat> now I have installed the chip tools in my download folders, and you'll notice that if I click on slash chip tools, and you can open the debug or the release, it doesn't matter. And the chip tools will have a list of basic commands that you can send to the device. Now, one thing with the chip tools is that, what do you say? Examples that you can or messages that you have to use in order for send to in order for you to send a particular command to your edge device. You can't write your own device or own 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 parameters as far as I'm concerned. So whatever is given, you would want to use. And we're using the light bulb LED example. So we'll be using the on off basic switch, basically something that can turn on an LED and turn off the LED. There are other things you could control. You could control, say, um, a color. You could control, you know, brightness. You could control um, door functions and door locks and all this other cool stuff. But in our example, it's pretty simple. It's just going to be an on-off example. So this is what we're going to use. But before we get started, now that we've installed or downloaded the the NR uh, the chip tools, let's basically go and compile the example code that can help us use this matter protocol. So you can go to the NRF connect. Once you download VS code, you can go to the NRF connect, click on the create a new application. And here I will just put in matter. Uh, actually, you just have to click copy a sample. And here you can put light bulb. And you'll see there'll be a matter light bulb. I have already downloaded this code. And you need to also make sure that the managed toolchain version is 2.5, the managed SDK is 2.5, especially if you have multiple versions. Sometimes I'm working on 2.42 for certain projects, but for this particular example, I'm using 2.5 because I'm using the chip tools 2.5 version. Then once you go on and compile it, you can basically go to the NRF connect, you can click on build and it will build the whole application for you. I've already gone and built the application <clears throat> and now, I've all, now I'm gonna flash it. So before I flash it, I am going to clear my the code that's running on this device. So what I have is a program running in here. I'm going to basically erase it, make keep it, put a clean install, and then let's configure the system. In order for us to do a clean install, you can click on the programmer function over here, <coughs> select my device, and I'm gonna click the NRF 7002TK. Once it it's able to connect to the system, then you click erase all. And once it's erased, I'm going to download the code. So right now you can see that the LED is now off. And now once the LED is off, we're going to basically program a new code onto it. Here, I'm gonna flash the device. And it's kind of currently being flashed. You can see the bulb flickering. And now once it's flashed, you will notice that the chip protocol right now is basically looking for discovery. This when it's flashing like this, it basically says I'm not connected to any chip network or a matter network and I am looking to be connected. So let's now go and connect the system. <clears throat> so what I have over here is because I'm going to connect this using Wi-Fi, I need to give this device the information to connect to my Wi-Fi access point. So what I have is my Linux system and I have a Wi-Fi access network. And now I have an NRF7002 DK and I'm basically going to tell the chip tool to connect, send a message to the NRF7002 DK to basically connect to the Wi-Fi access point first. And then once it's connected to the Wi-Fi access point, <coughs> I can then send messages through Wi-Fi to the NRF7002 DK. So let's get this working. 
The first thing I'm going to do is basically put in the chip tools debug and I'm going to basically send in this command. So first is the Wi-Fi. Here I'm basically putting a discovery node of 01. This is my Wi-Fi username. This is my Wi-Fi password. This is, there'll be two other things known as, um, <clears throat> there'll be two other commands that you need to add. And this command can be found when you basically launch the system. So for example, let me just minimize all of this code. You will realize it says that there is something called as the pin code and discriminator. So as soon as you start the system, the NRF7002 TK, it'll give you some debug messages. And this is those, these are the two parameters that you are basically need, you need in order for you to configure your chip tool and the edge device. So you're putting the pin code and the discriminator. So in here, we basically have the Wi-Fi username, the Wi-Fi password, the pin code and the discriminator. So when I do this, and I'm just gonna basically paste this command and it's gonna be connecting through <coughs> the Wi-Fi system. You can see it now trying to be commissioned. So this immediate flashing is basically saying, hey, I, someone is trying to commission me to the network and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm currently being commissioned. And once it's commissioned, it will have the LED will be just green in color. So now it's completely commissioned. You can also toggle on and off by basically pressing this button on and off. And when I basically go into my system over here, you can see it's going on and off. But now the cool part starts. Now let me send a command through the chip tool to toggle it on and off. I'm going to take this level over here and I'm just going to basically say toggle on and off. I'm going to toggle it for my node one and, 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 and point one. So when I click on this, you will notice it turns on. So now I can toggle it on and off. I'm just going to basically send the command right now and now it will be toggled on and here it will be toggled off. I can also set the brightness level if I want. So for example, I can go over here and then set the brightness level. So if I want this to be basically 20 or maybe, you know, 100, <clears throat> I will first set this brightness level and then and then toggle this on and toggle this off. We can also read commands from this. So for example, I can basically click on right on level. I can also read levels. So for example, if I do this, I'm just gonna paste this command. I'm gonna basically click read. You can click level control read, read current level one one and it'll tell you that the data right now is one but if i toggle this and then read it says that the data is 100 which is basically what we had programmed earlier all right, that's all there is for the chip protocol. We're being able to basically program the device with the, with the matter LED example. We're able to see it go on and off. We're able to read the levels. So the small little example shows and demonstrates how the versatility of this particular protocol and application. In the next videos, I'll basically be able to connect using, you know, thread and, 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 and other protocols and make sure, you know, you can basically connect from one device, edge device controlling the other edge device and do all these sophisticated stuff using this particular mechanism using Matter Protocol. And until next time, please hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button, please comment if you have any questions and until next time, please take care.